Hey everyone, welcome to a tutorial on the World Edit Stack Tool. The Stack Tool makes it easy to work with larger amounts of any rotated blocks such as stairs. The most common use case is to stack blocks such as stairs whilst retaining rotation. To bind the stacker tool to an item, just run slash tool stacker, the range such as 10, and a mask such as air. So by default, the stacker tool only replaces air using the hash air mask, similar to what I entered just before. You can customize this if you want, such as the ability to replace long grass, water, or anything else. So now I can go along and right click all of the blocks that I want to stack. I'll start with this wall here. As you can see, it stopped at this door. That is because the air mask does not match the door and therefore it cannot replace it and will stop there. I can fill this in just by doing the other side. And so as you can see, this went all the way along because it is less than the range of 10 that I entered earlier. In this case here with the stairs and the other blocks, it is stacking along and retaining rotation. This is extremely useful in this situation as well because of this very ugly chimney. If this chimney was like not here, you could easily just use the stack command to stack those blocks across. But with the chimney, we need to be extra careful to not remove it. Also, using this tool, you do not need to actually create a selection and run the stack command. You can just right click a block and it stacks it. For example, if I right click this block here, it'll just stack it along in the range up to the maximum range. An example of when supplying a custom mask could be useful would be when creating an underwater build. Here there is water everywhere, so an air mask is pretty useless. So if we jump into this little fish tank I've created, you'll see that I've set up a little mini build. Of course, your build is probably going to be much larger than this, and you don't really need a stacker to do this, but it's an example. So let's create a new stacker tool, so slash tool, stacker, and we only need like a range of three here, so may as well do that. And then instead of hash air for a mask, I can just write water. So now if I right click one of these blocks, it replaces it through water. Also noting that because I've used water, not air, it can now not stack these up into the air. However, if I right click it here, it'll work and stack into the water. As per before, I can do all the normal stuff and stack up and down and all that. So this has been a quick view of how masking works for the stacker tool. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope this was useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any other cool use cases for the stacker tool. Also, I'd appreciate it if you could like and subscribe this video for more world edit, world guard, and craft book tutorials. Bye.